What up, FBF Squad? It's me, John Quiz, aka Fat Belly Fella, and I'm back. What's up, you guys? Today is day seven of Fat Belly Fella and Friends Presents Seven Days of Seafood. Y'all, I'm so excited to be done with this because the seafood I never thought that I would just be so happy to see the last of it y'all but I am happy to see the last of this for at least another good you know two maybe three weeks I'm cool okay so I mean I am I am like excited about this don't get me wrong I'm very excited about this but I'm ready to eat some chicken and I'm ready to eat some spaghetti and some 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 pasta something I just need something else right now so we're not going to waste any more time. We're going to see our president. We're going to get into this food. Okay, so basically what we just have some corn. Um, we have some snow crab and some lobster. So let's get into this, y'all. Happy, happy, what is it, Friday? <laughs> y'all know I'll be all over the dang old place. Happy Friday. Maybe I could do this without scissors. Maybe. I just don't want my meat to be falling apart. I did it right. I did it right. Mm -hmm. But anyway, happy Friday, you guys. This will be a late upload today because I just couldn't, I couldn't move. <laughs> I couldn't move. I really couldn't. Like, my body is just like, oh, I don't know why I feel so drained the way I do, but I do. But I got obligations, you hear me? I got obligations. I hate when I do this because people get on here and sweat and tell me, well, your lobster may not be cooked all the way or you overcooked it. I know what I did. It's not overcooked. I just need to learn how to break these things apart the right way. Because I'm really rough with them. <clears throat> so, but thank you anyway. <laughs> thank you anyway. I appreciate it. Um, Yeah, so let me just get some food in my system real quick, y'all. Then we're going to get into a discussion today that I really need to get off my chest because... Had about enough. Mm. I've had about enough. Mm -mm -mm. This the part right here that that got all that meat in there, boy. I'm telling you, them knuckles. Hmm. And that's another thing, you guys. For the newcomers, I am not the kind of mukbanger that sit and do seafood every day. I have to branch out. I have to try different things, y'all. I cannot. I enjoy seafood and I do have it periodically, but it's not an everyday thing. And with that being said, there may not be corn on every video, so... I hope y'all still mess with me even when I'm not on here eating corn, smashing the corn up, you know? I hope y'all still mess with me even when I'm not smashing the corn up. Because the food is still good regardless, you feel me? Now, every time I say you feel me, I think of my baby brother. That's his main word after every phrase, everything that come out. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? I be like, boy, if you don't sit down somewhere, go fill a seat. <laughs> you feel me? <sighs> I should have had these pre-cracked because I hate this part. I 
hate this part right here. Well, this one almost came out perfectly. Almost. Dang. Yeah. Ouch. And we do have Junior over here on the side with some Kool Aid. My favorite pot. <clears throat> but I know this spice about to kick my butt. Watch. Mm. Amazing. Yes, indeed. Mm, mm, mm. You know, you had those certain things that you grew up on when you didn't necessarily have, you know, the luxury of having opportunities or varieties. I mean, I didn't mean to say opportunities, but varieties of food. Corn was one of those things that I really enjoyed when you didn't have much of anything you know i think that's why i appreciate it even more now other than that it's just good <laughs> There's so much freaking meat in here. Oh my God. Oh. I just got excited. <laughs> I just got so excited. There's so much meat in here. There's so much meat in here. little muscle spasms in my left foot oh my god and it shoot up my leg oh oh and it's so random i just took in the leaves so i could try to alleviate that pain alleviate that pain because that's not good oh been happening since last night don't you hate when you're getting some good sleep and then something just gotta happen like you start feeling some kind of ache or some kind of pain jesus Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm sure that's acid reflux, y'all. Why I keep getting hiccup? Me just poop everywhere. Jeez. But yeah, as I was saying, if I was rudely interrupted, um, it's acid reflux because it only happens when I'm eating. And, and and especially when I'm eating at a certain pace, like right now, I feel like I have to kind of be in a rush a little because we're on a time we on a time crunch. So I want to try to get as much in as I possibly can, but at the same time, I have to be respectful. I have to be mindful of my body, you guys. I have to be mindful because after this is over with and this camera shuts down, I have to go deal with that alone. <laughs> so, but I'm gonna get to everything. Trust and believe, in the midst of me eating, I'm going to put on a great performance. <laughs> Trust me when I say. Now to get into this little conversation I wanted to have because <clears throat> y'all I'm so completely disgusted by some things that just that are taking place in this in this life. I was about to say in this world, but I'm I can only really be concerned about what's going on in my country. And I think that a lot of us are searching for um some kind of some kind of peace i think you know i feel like most of us are searching for some kind of peace some kind of inner peace within ourselves you know people just want to live their lives without feeling like they have to be perfect for everybody and um without being judged for being who they authentically you know who being their authentic selves and I'm trying to put this in the simplest form so I don't have to, you know, feel like I'm, you know, I don't want to disrespect anybody, but I have to get my point across. <clears throat> so however this may come out, I want it to, I want it to be known that if it don't apply, let it fly. <laughs> Period. So this whole situation with Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union and, and, and their child who um, identifies himself as female. Or transgender. Let me let me say it correctly. A transgender female. Okay. Yes, I am a part of the LGBTQ plus community. Okay. No, I don't agree with everything that goes on within our community. Let's just put that out there. But as it pertains to certain things like that, I take a stand for 
my trans community, okay? I take a stand for them because although people who may not understand it may think that it's just the worst thing in the world is an abomination and this and that and the third and you're not supposed to and God made you one way and you're supposed to be that way and all that. Yes, 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 and yes, y'all. Okay? Everybody has their own regard, you know, about that. You know, everybody has their own relationship and all of that. You know, you know what I'm saying. Y'all get what I'm saying when it comes down to that. Everybody has their own relationship. Everybody has their own understanding. But what I think what people be messing up at is you're trying to control people in the way they live and the way they handle, you know, where they handle their lives, the way they handle them things, the things that they um, do in their lives. And this little individual came out so courageous and so adequately, adequately. I'm 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 so offended by certain things, y'all, and I'm and I'm and I really want to curse and scream and fuss and just run through the crowd and just be knocking people out left and right. I really want to. I really really want to because that's just how hurt I am. As some of the commentary that was made on behalf of, <clears throat> I can't remember her name. I can't remember her name. I think it starts with a Z. I don't want to get it wrong, so I'm just gonna, I'm just, not, I'm, I'm gonna say Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union's child, their daughter. Okay, because that's what she identifies herself as. A lot of people get disrespectful about that because they feel like you're supposed to do it this way because they say so, you know, or because that's what it's supposed to be. That's fine. You can have that, sis. Bro, y'all can have that. Nobody's, nobody's telling you that you can't have your own opinion. But when you get to a point where you making threats and you telling people that they don't need to live anymore because of decisions that they make in their personal lives that has nothing to do with you at the end of the day or in your life, period. You know what I'm saying? Y'all take taking it too far. Y'all take it too far when y'all seeing things like that because you don't know... I mean, and even though she is very confident in herself and she knows who she is and who she wants to be and all of that stuff, and I'm so happy that she has the support system that she has. I'm so, so, so happy because we do not have that or we lack it, okay? I was very grateful. I was very fortunate to have a mother and a father who accepted me just being a gay man because, no, I have never had the thoughts of feeling like I needed to be anything other than a man. You feel me? I have never had any thoughts of being like anything other than that. So I can't really understand those thoughts and all of those things. But at the same time, it's not my place to understand because it's not my life. It's not my business. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that social media has just become such a place where people feel like they are just obligated to their opinion on any topic. Okay? Uh, but what you fail to understand is opinions... And being freaking harsh are two different things. Even the people in the church, y'all not giving y'all opinions no more. Y'all being y'all being harsh. Y'all being judgmental, which is not something that you're supposed to be doing. Okay, since y'all know everything, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. You're not supposed to be judging anyone. It's not your place. So when I see that type of bullying on behalf of a child at that, that's a child. Godly. I am so, I, sometimes y'all, I'm so, and it's us. It's us. It's us. It's us. We are some of, some of the most vile people towards us. And even though we are still suffering a lot of hardships in this country, y'all still find time to just put that, apply that pressure onto other people. Who can't help nothing but be themselves, you know, you, you can't be nobody but yourself and all that good stuff. But, hey, I guess there's one, one rule apply for over here, another rule apply, another set of rules over there. I don't know what the situation is, but I'm praying to God that y'all find God, for real, because y'all not living in his word. You're not. Since you want to tell everybody that they're not living in his word. You're not living in his word. Ooh. Neither are you. 
I was so upset because I was literally going through these comments and these are grown ass people. These are adults with kids. <laughs> And even bringing their own children and they're saying, if my child ever came out to me and said that they wanted to do this, I'm putting them out or I'm going to hurt them and I'm going to do this and that. And that. Y'all are ridiculous. Ridiculous. Y'all are sad. I'm so disgusted by some of my people. I don't know what to do. I'm so disgusted, man. One minute is rest in peace. Kobe Bryant. And his daughter, next minute is, kill yourself, Dwayne Wade's child. Kill yourself. You see how backwards and twisted people can be? I don't want to say we, because I'm definitely not that. I know how to mind my business. This is the reason why I'm 32 and still look the way I do. Because I ain't minding nobody else's business but my own. And drinking plenty of water. Alright? Because that's all life really consists of. When I think that when people really get that understanding, grasp the concept... Of minding your own business and keeping your mouth off of others, you can get the same results. Period. I know y'all ain't never really seen me go off like this, and trust me, it gets a lot worse. I'm really conducting myself in, a, in a, I think, in a very professional manner because of the platform that I'm running here. But I can really go there. I can really go there, but I'm not. I think that I've said enough. I think that a lot of people need to really sit and think about the things that they say before they say them. For real, for real. People really need to stop. Just stop. We're already going, we're already enduring enough with the, the state that the country is in. Okay, we already enduring enough. Y'all want to add even more troubles. I just, I don't get that. I don't get that. I will never understand that. I will never understand that. And sadly, I don't think that is ever going to change. It's never going to change. And this is the reason why a lot of the times I don't be bothered with a lot of things that, that we have going on as a people because we don't hold ourselves accountable for the, for the troubles that we cause in the world. We don't hold ourselves accountable for the troubles that we bring into, into the world. Like we just perfect or something. No, baby. No, baby, no. Mm. <clears throat> I feel sorry for those individuals' children, man. Y'all have some... Y'all have some angry parents. <laughs> Y'all have some angry, twisted, sick parents. I hope a lot of those people do not have children. Because if they do, DCFS, y'all need to get involved. Get them children out of them people's lives. Because clearly they're not prepared to have children. You're supposed to love them unconditionally, regardless. Those are your children. And personally, I feel like when people are so easily to just remove their kids from their lives because of those, you know, those situations. And just to be honest with y'all, we cannot control these things. <laughs> yes, we've come into a world where people are just freaky, okay? I ain't even gonna lie to you. People are just freaky and they do what they do behind closed doors or even sometimes in front of closed doors because people are really bold these days. So it's like, you know, but I can speak on behalf of me and my community. And those who really live this and have to deal with this day to day, these are not choices that we make. Nobody wants to feel like I'm going to get attacked for being me or whatever the case is just because I'm choosing to be this way. That does not make sense. Y'all, please make it make sense. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Because it's not. Who's going to say, oh, I'm this way just to be out here in the world getting attacked just for being you? That don't, it does not add up. And I hate having conversations, especially with some, like, this is this is a big reason why a lot of the times I don't be having a lot of female friends because y'all ask some of the most dumb questions. Like, we are freaking science projects, man. Like, it's just a, a new race that's been discovered. <laughs> we came from planet Mars and y'all just so intrigued by the gay population. 
the gay and trans population. I think the second that y'all understand it, it's never going to go anywhere and people are really out here living their lives and not being concerned about what you think or how you feel or what you may say or what you may do. Yes, it's dangerous out here at times, but at the end of the day, as long as you're living in your truth, nothing else really matters, to be honest with you. There's many ways that you can protect yourself. And I'm not telling y'all to go out here and do nothing crazy or anything but like that. But at the end of the day, we have to we have to use our heads. We have to protect ourselves. That's facts. I thank God every day that I have a father in my life. Even though I didn't feel comfortable with coming out to my father until I was 32. <laughs> and I'm currently 32. I literally came out to him even though people were telling him my business. You know, they were going back and telling him certain things about me or whatever, but my dad was one of them dads. He was like, until my child comes to me and tell me himself, I don't want to hear nothing that y'all got to say. That's my son. You know what I'm saying? And I respected him for that. But at the same time, I had to feel comfortable enough to come to him, come to him with that conversation because I had seen nothing but, I, you know, a lot of, a lot of people that, you know, I call associates and things like that. I saw nothing but their fathers just disowning them and all kinds of stuff when it came down to them coming out of the closet. And I just did not want that for myself. And I knew the type of man that my father was, you know, he's a very God-fearing man. And he's, you know, he's, you know, he's, he just is, you know. And I was afraid that I would have that same outcome. But by the grace of God, hallelujah. <clears throat> With me telling my father that, it brought us even closer. I tell y'all God is good. Because it's nothing and nothing in this world that I love more than my parents. Okay? Nothing in this world. And I have my own personal relationship with God. I don't go to church all the time because I feel like the church is filled up with a lot of hate and a lot of anger and a lot of judgment. And I don't want to be a part of that. I don't want to be a part of that. What we have with time. Okay. I just don't. Y'all like my ring? It's my birthstone. Emerald green. <clears throat> Talking about some emerald green, like emerald and green. Come on, boy. Get it together. <laughs> Get it together. Yeah, but this is what I wanted to talk about. I just think that we have to do better. I know this has been said time and time and time and time and time again. We have to do better. Because before you know it, this life will be over with. Sad to say, but it's the truth. And you've lived your life being hateful and mean and angry and judgmental and all those things. And now look what you got to do. You have to go be judged. <laughs> How do you think that's going to work out for you, boo? How do you think that's going to work out for you? You saying caused all this heartache and all this anguish and all of that stuff while you was here on earth because you thought you was doing somebody's work that you have no place doing their work for them because they got it covered. And you know who I'm talking about. The man upstairs. He got it all covered. He don't need your help. But please, y'all, let people be. Let people be. Let them be. What is it hurting you? What is it hurting you? <clears throat> Y'all, I think I'm full. I am so pleased with this seven days of seafood. Like, I've met a lot of new, 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 new good people. Who have subscribed and all that stuff. Y'all are so sweet, man. Y'all like the y'all are so dope to me. <laughs> y'all are so dope to me. And I hope I didn't really offend anyone and you know who may have subscribed to me. But I'm pretty sure if you subscribe to me, then you know what the deal is. You know what the T is, sis. You know what the T is. So if you mess with me, I know that you didn't have an issue with anything that I just said. But for those who may see this video, who may not be subscribed, who may not like me, or whatever the case may be. I need y'all to catch that message. It was for you. And I'm not scared. If you want to see me, baby, 
I'm still, I'm still fresh about the South Side of Chicago. What up? Still fresh about the South Side of Chicago. I ain't left yet. You want to come see me? Oh, uh, I ain't think so. I ain't think so. And on top of that, I got a daddy and three brothers as big as gorillas. What up? What up? Big as gorillas. What's good? <laughs> Try me not, sis. Try me not. But that's neither here nor there. Be happy. Every day that you get to wake up and try again and be a greater person, be happy. Be grateful. Stop waking up being so angry. Even if your situation might be jacked up at the moment, stop waking up being so angry. Life is still great because you're still here. Stop waking up being so angry. Jesus. Okay, I think I'm just about done with this, you guys. <clears throat> This was pretty, pretty good. Um, oh, oh yeah. So, if you made it this far in the video, you know that I give shout-outs. But now, I, I give shout-outs because I appreciate you guys for making it this far in the video. Because, you know, a lot of people don't. You know, they stick to the first couple of minutes and get, watch you get that first few bites in and they out. But, for those of you who have made it this far, if you would like to shout-out, leave it down in the comment section. Say, shout me out, fat belly fella, shout me out. And I got you. Oh, my hands are gross. But anyway, we have two shout-outs to give. I'm not sure. I, I probably have missed out on a couple of you, but trust and believe, I will get you in the next video. So we have just two shout-outs to give today. We have Sharon Stale. Hi. And we also have Doris Haney. Hi, honey. How are you? Thank you guys so much for sticking it out with your boy. I appreciate you so much. I love you guys so much. If you're not following me on my social media, you can follow me on my Instagram at flat. Oh, <laughs> You can follow me on my Instagram at underscore fatbellyfella underscore. Okay, okay. I just want to say I appreciate Lip Sam's world and hashtag the cannons and Big Mac and Antoine East for taking this seven day ride with me, y'all. I think that this was pretty, pretty good. This was a really good seven days. Um, even though it started to drag me down towards the end because I'm not used to eating this much seafood. All in, you know, back to back like that. But, you know, hey, to each his own. In the meantime, y'all know what's about to happen. Y'all know what's about to go down. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Hit that notification bell to be notified each and every single time your boy upload another video. And don't forget to share, share, share because sharing is caring. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, I will see you guys in the next video. I love us for real. Peace.